Uh, Yemi, this one goes out to you. Carolina comes in to Montreal, and they play insanely well. They play motivated Montreal. Montreal has had a struggle, and I felt they really wanted to win this game. This game especially because Cotton Yemi was there. I think the fans wanted to see Cotton Yemi lose in Montreal. But Carolina just, they didn't let it happen. You know, the Spanish has been great the past three games. Even the game where the power play didn't get a goal, it was still a phenomenal power play work, and they got their chances in the second game of the season. This game of the season, they convert on a goal off of a really good pass from Teravine, and Trocek makes a good play. Trocek, I think, is going to have an overlooked game, but Trocek played a really good game tonight. And he overlooks the pass, as Trip Tracy pointed out. Shout out to Trip Tracy. I would not have noticed it unless he pointed out. T- beautiful cross ice pass from Sveshnikov. Sveshnikov gets the power play goal. And Sveshnikov, his goal scoring is really look, le- looking like it's coming alive this season. And that's just only good things for Carolina. Sveshnikov is able to get goals. I think he's shooting more. I think it's translating to him getting more goals. And you just you love to see it if you're a Canes fan like I am myself. The penalty kill... Cal, uh, Montreal gets a power play goal. That being said, I think the penalty kill is still good, especially Brett Pesci. I think Brett Pesci specifically shined on the penalty kill this game because of his uh, shot, because of that, or because we killed one for six, and I thought Brett Pesci was a standout, as Brett Pesci is on the penalty kill. He's probably the most, I would say the most overlooked now that Slavin started to get his deserved attention. But Brett Pesci, I think, is now the most overlooked defenseman on the Hurricanes, and he proves it again tonight with his work on the power play, or penalty kill, I should say. Uh, You know, and then, yeah, Frederick Anderson making some amazing saves. Frederick Anderson, Carolina has become the place for goalies to start getting their careers back in track now, whether it's Morozik, David Ayers, uh, McElhaney. And, you know, tonight, maybe Frederick Anderson, I, I can't wait to see Aranta get a start, see how he plays, but I really like the way Harold Bluetooth Frederick Anderson is playing. So, yeah, I really like Frederick Anderson. And, you know, Aho is great as usual, especially in that last shift. I think Aho had one of the best end-of-game shifts that Carolina has played. Generally, I don't think you should play your first-line guys on the at the very end of the game if you're up. However, Aho proves me wrong tonight, as any time I've ever doubted Aho, he tends to prove. So, Aho, shout out to Sebastian Aho and the way he played tonight. And, you know, Trocek overlooked this game. I would have given Trocek Hurricane of the Game, but I think we all know who deserves Hurricane of the Game this game. So, yeah, I mean, it's Cotton Yemi. He offer sheets Carolina. Uh, He takes an offer sheet contract with Carolina. Montreal doesn't match, and he comes into this town city, and he gets booed like crazy. Apparently, according to people on Twitter, people were training fuck KK. And Cotton Yemi comes in, and he makes them pay for not matching the offer sheet for six mil at one year. And I, I love seeing him score. And, you know, a lot of people on Montreal were trash talking me like, oh, he's on the fourth line. And it's like, yeah, well, that fourth liner just scored. And you guys are now 0-5-0, and Carolina's 3-0-0. I wonder how happy he is where he's playing. And, you know, part of me kind of was curious about this game because I was going to see if a rivalry was going to be born between these two teams. Right now, it's just pettiness between the front offices. I don't really consider that a rivalry. But, you know, and I was wondering, was this game going to get nasty because of the offer sheets and, you know, underlying tension? It really didn't. And I think part of it is because right now the gap in the standings, Montreal's just trying to get a win. Carolina's just trying to keep the momentum that they had before their three-day break. But, I mean, yeah, Carolina, just everything is clicking at the beginning of the season. I think other than the too many men, I think some of their rustiness as a new team showed a little bit. With the too many men on the ice penalty, you're going to get that. I think some of the passes in the first period was a little bit off. That could have just been the break, you know, trying to get back in the flow of the game. And some of it could have been the fact that the Carolina Hurricane, some of it could just be their new faces. So, but yeah, I would think Carolina coming out to this strongest start again is attributed to the success of Rod Brindamore. And you see it every shift the Hurricane has. There's very few times a Hurricane will slack off. 
and it's really showed this team is a fun, fast, exciting team. I think they've actually gotten faster over the offseason. Um, Dougie Hamilton is missed, but yeah, I mean, that's just... Yeah, I mean, right now there's not much to talk about in terms of standings implications or anything because right now we're still three games in. We got 79 games left. You just got to keep winning games. You got to keep getting points when you can get them because it, it, this is the easy time. So, uh, yeah, that's this video on the Hurricanes. You know, uh, take that Montreal, you know, shit off or shoot at Cotton Yemi. Maybe you wouldn't be 5 0 right now. And, you know, maybe uh, instead of trash talking the Hurricanes, maybe you uh, trash talk your own players because they need it. And, uh, but yeah, in all seriousness, I do actually like Montreal. I think it's great to have a city that passionate about hockey as Montreal, but you know, it, it was fun, petty rivalry and will it continue? I don't think so, but who knows? Maybe a Montreal can get it together and Carolina meets in the playoffs and then, yeah, it'll turn into a probably pretty heated rivalry for a year or two, but they're in different divisions. So they're not going to play as often as you would like. So Yeah. But that's it for this video. If you guys like the content I'm producing on the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. If uh, you guys want to see uh, more, yeah, if you guys like the content I'm producing on the channel, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Uh, click the bell if you want to be notified when I upload, and I'll see you guys for the next game. We'll see when it is, because I did not check. This is the same struggles from last season for your boy. Um, uh, Saturday. Or at Columbus, so hopefully Carolina can get another win there. But, you know, right now they've, yeah, it's a division game. You want to win that game. I'll see you guys then.